Hello everybody and welcome back to Surfact Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearance of the Week. This is Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. We'll be giving you all the first appearance in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty good video for you guys. I think we have 8 first appearances, 4 honorable mentions, so 12 titles on all to go through. Definitely some books in there you guys should pick up for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, week ending December 30th, 2022. First up from DC Comics, Blue Beetle Graduation Day number 2. This features the first full appearance of Yellow Beetle. There's also a possible appearance of a green, purple, and pink beetle as well. Now this title series, the Blue Beetle Graduation Day title series, is definitely a new series for DC Comics. And Blue Beetle is definitely one of their lesser known superheroes. So this one here we do think you have a good amount of time on. We don't really know how many collectors out there really collect Blue Beetle title series or Blue Beetle comics. So this one here, like I said, we do think you have a lot of time on this one here. Put this one on your B-list for now and take a look at it later on. Next up from DC Comics, Tales from Earth 6, A Celebration of Stan Lee number 1. This features the first appearance of the Choker. This is a one-shot featuring characters created by Stan Lee, inspired by the main Justice League roster. Now, we typically wouldn't recommend a book like this. It does have the first appearance of the Choker, but it really depends on what DC does with these characters as to how important they're going to be going forward. But this one here does feature characters created by Stan Lee, inspired by the main Justice League roster. This is definitely worth owning, in our opinion. Pick this one here up for the cover price. This is one you want to have in your collection. Next up from Marvel Comics, Timeless Number 1. This features the first appearance of Murden and the Twilight Court. There's a one-shot in-story teaser of Marvel's 2023 slate of stories as well. Now, we've been hearing about this comic for months, Timeless Number 1, and typically when Marvel pushes something that hard that we hear about it that far in advance, it's definitely worth picking up an Antia collection. They clearly have something planned for this character they're introducing or this particular story arc they're bringing forth. So in our opinion, this was one you want to pick up. And go ahead and grab this one. Next up from Marvel Comics, Murder World Spider-Man Number 1. In this issue, there's a possible first appearance of a female cage fighter named Eden. Now, typically with any Spider-Man title, this is Murder World Spider-Man. So this one here is an offshoot of the original Spider-Man titles. But anything with Spider-Man, Spider-Man Universe, anytime they introduce a new character, these are books you typically want to own at the cover price. You know, Marvel Disney is still churning out a ton of media, especially for the Spider-Man franchise. And the fact they're introducing a new character, this is one you probably want to own. It's going to be a little bit more speculative than some of the other titles, but probably worth picking up. Go ahead and grab this one. Next up from Marvel Comics, Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise number 2. This features a possible full appearance of characters referenced in the solicitation that may be introduced in issue number 1. Now this Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise title series, this is a new series for Marvel Comics. This is not their standalone Doctor Strange title series. And this features the possible first full appearance of characters. So this is one you want to do a little bit more research on before you pick this one up. Like we always say, within these possible first appearances, you do want to actually get the book in your hands. Make sure this is confirmed to be the first full appearances. Otherwise, these books aren't really going to be that important going forward. If this turns out to be the confirmed full appearances of these characters that were referenced in issue number one, this is one you probably want to pick up you know like we just said a moment ago marvel disney is still turning out a ton of media so it's probably worth picking up any of these comics that feature new characters you don't know where they're going to end up so this one here in our opinion is probably worth picking up the spec on go ahead and grab this one next up for marvel comics spider-man double trouble number two this features the first appearance of a female mysterio in comic books possibly francie beck now, like we just mentioned a moment ago with the Spider-Man titles, you typically want to own any new characters introduced into the Spider-Man universe. You know, Marvel still pushing the Spider-Man franchise incredibly hard, probably one of the most popular and most heavily collected of their franchises. And this features the first appearance of a female Mysterio. This is one you want to own. Go ahead and grab this one. Next up from Marvel Comics, Star Wars The High Republic number 3. This features the first appearance of Oakland Viss, a Feline captain in the Guardians of the Wills. Now, we always say this with these Marvel published Star Wars titles, it's always worth picking up the first appearance of new characters in this series. You know, Marvel's Disney is still churning out a ton of media for the Star Wars franchise. You know, there seems to be a new Star Wars streaming series almost every other month. So if they pull any of these characters out of the comics and bring them to the small screen or big screen, it's definitely going to get a lot more eyes on these characters. People are definitely going to want to pick up these comics that feature the first full appearance. So this is one we definitely think you should pick up and add to your collection. And finally for Marvel Comics, Star Wars The High Republic The Blade Number 1. This features the first appearance of Baresh Sylvain, the sister of Porter. This also features the origin of Porter Ingle, the Blade of Berdoda. Now, like we just mentioned a moment ago, it's always a good idea to pick up these Marvel published Star Wars titles that feature the first appearance of new characters. And this here has an origin story as well. This is one we do think you should own at the cover price. Go ahead and grab this one. And now for the honorable mentions. From DC Comics, Action Comics number 1050. 
The solicitation reads, two years worth of Superman stories come to a head in this oversized anniversary issue that launches Superman and the DCU into an exciting new era. Now, this is one we do think you should pick up and add to your collection. You know, this is an anniversary issue of Action Comics, probably the most important title series in all of comic history. And this is number 1050. This is an anniversary issue. So for the cover price, we think this is probably worth picking up and just having in your collection. We really don't know if there's going to be anything important in this issue. Now, according to the solicitation, you know, this does launch Superman and the DCU into an exciting new era, whatever that means. You know, it may not be all that important, but this particular issue, being an anniversary issue of Action Comics, is one we think you should pick up go ahead and grab this one next up from dc comics batman gotham knights gilded city number three this issue includes a redeemable code to unlock an exclusive skin variant for batgirls tonfa and the gotham knights game a special seventh item will be unlocked if codes from all six issues are redeemed now we often recommend these video game based comics these typically have a strong collector base in the future maybe not so much now when they first come out but in the future it seems like people rush back to get these and there's not a lot on the market you know a lot of people don't buy these video game related comics when they first come out that's why there's so few on the market that's why they do appreciate in price later on so for the cover price it's probably worth specking on grab this for a spec bet if you can if you can't though put it in your b-list and keep an eye on it next up from dc black label wonder woman historia the amazons number three this features the origin of the Amazons. Now, I feel like there's been a few origin of Amazon stories coming from DC lately. So this one here, we really don't know how important this is going to be. This is from DC Black Label. That label, of course, was very important when they first came out. But it has kind of pulled back in collector sentiment over the years. So this one here is one we think you probably have a little bit of time on. Put this one here on your B-list for now and keep an eye on it. And finally, from Marvel Comics, Savage She-Hulk number one facsimile. This is a facsimile reprint of Savage She-Hulk number one from 1980. Now, we always recommend picking up these facsimile issues. Now, these are not just reprints of the story and the art, but all the original advertisements that came in the original comic when it hit the shelf back in 1980. This is as close as you can get to going back in time to 1980 and picking this book off the shelf yourself. Collectors love these facsimile issues, and they typically trade at a higher price later on. This is one we definitely think you should pick up for your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. So there you have the 12 issues that we have for you guys this week. Definitely some books in there you guys want to pick up for your collection. So please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.